Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1930s and it's got more than a whiff of Indiana Jones about it which I'm guessing is what they intended so basically it was released by Data East in 1919 it's a very very interesting arcade game I've played this literally twice and I struggle to get my head around the controls it's one or two uh, simultaneous to play and the story goes that there's uh, an evil organization of basically Nazis Look at that. Uh, led by a guy called Dark Ogre, hellbent on world domination. Now, a scientist escapes them with their plans or something, you know, to let the world know what he's trying to do. So they kidnap his daughter, Charlotte, um, and she has a prism that we have to save because that is the key to their weapons of mass destruction. If, in fact, they actually have any. Looking at you, Tony Blair. Anyway, right, you'll see what I mean about it. There's seven stages, and it's a cross between left to right and into the, well, out of the screen, I would say. But yeah, check it out. It's just, this whole awesome Indiana Jones um, 1930s vibe about it is cool. Um, whether you get to see much of it, I do not know, because what's not cool is my ability to play it. So let's put some money in. That's the most underwhelming put money in noise ever. Oh, look. What's the commotion? Someone has stolen the prism, sir. Shall we read this? It's got a whole steampunk tech thing going on as well, apparently. Anyway, I'm bored now. Okay. Thanks for that, mate. Right, so I've got jump, fire. Listen to that music. Now, for the 1930s, I'm sure it would say the 1930s, because there's a whole heck of tech shit going on here. Right, you've got a whip. You can get on them. That thing that looks like a square in the background is just bad guys coming from the back to the front of the screen. This is blatantly Last Crusade, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I want to get on the glider, there we go. Oh, so jump between shit. It's a bit intimidating to be fair, like, you know, so much stuff is going on at once with the hole from the back to the front of the screen. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the bad guys fall away into the background. I have no idea why I raised my voice then. You're welcome. Okay, this is cool. So, do you know what? They were really trying something a little bit different. It's not the greatest sprite scaling in the world. But, like I said, they're definitely trying something. Oh, it's not the worst either. Look at that little bloke in the background. Yeah, I'm well impressed. Oh, back to the same level. Oh, apparently I don't have to fear the water. Like I said, I'm really not sure about the controls. There's nothing wrong with them. They're suitably tight and stuff like that. I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to stay up here. It's a nice view. Okay, into the screen again. It's funny because you think you're just going to fall in the water and die. It's, it's like I said, it's a little bit more intimidating than it actually is to play. Boss fight, boss fight. I said that, but now look at this. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to fight a friggin' helicopter, flying steamboat thingy with um a whip. Would be honest, Indy would, wouldn't he? It's a train. Sorry, it's a train. Oh, is that ogre? Bit of an early start. Oh yeah, that's it. Well, I don't know. Who did he kidnap? What, Charlotte already? Apparently. Let's put some money in because it's inevitable that I'm going to die. Oh, we're on the train. Okay. Should I be on the train? I don't know. Yes, we should be on the train. I've got wrong. They got guns. I think. Yeah, they win. I'm not sure if I can destroy the guns. And there's a lot of them. 
Well, you can't argue with their uh, their tech, can you? They didn't stim. And also, you know when I said the graphics aren't the greatest? I changed my mind. Oh, okay. What is, like, also on the intimidation side is where you actually should go. That's Dark Ogre. Right. He's got the prism. Show us a picture just in case you didn't know what prism looked like. Yay, stays clear. Well, I saved it already. That's it. That's it. The rest of the game is over. Oh, look at this. Thanks for pointing that out, mate. Who are you talking to? You're by yourself. Although there could be two. Two players in this at the same time would be well mental. Yes, that's right. I said well mental. I'm bringing back the 90s. You're welcome. How do I not know this is a thing? I guess it's an underrated or underappreciated arcade machine. It definitely got a Japanese and European release. Whether it got a North American one, I don't know. I would have thought so. Oh, look. It's Darren Louise. Oh, that was the most underwhelming small clip ever. Oh, look at this. Never got a home port. Well, lots of stuff didn't get a home port, to be fair. There is a very dirty edge about the graphics, though. Like, whether it's supposed to be or it's an emulation thing, I'm playing this on my modded Xbox, you could not say. But look at the, um, is it the desert? The brown shit behind me, I should say. Oh, fuck. I was just going to say, have I died yet? Well, that answers that question. Do I get any other weapons? I've got a wheelie. That doesn't answer my question, that's not a weapon. Although it must have some sort of use or relevance. All I can say is, how did I not know this was a thing? This is awesome. Although, to be fair, I never saw it in the arcades when I was a kid. And I went to some pretty decent arcades that had, ooh, wheelie, big tiles and stuff like that. I guess this wasn't a big tile. Oh, it's brilliant. To be honest, could any of the home systems at the time done it? SNES might have given it a shot. Oh, to be honest, it never stopped trying to pull shit like this to the, uh, the Spectrum and the Commodore, did it? So, so yes, they probably could have. Jesus, these bad guys and their, you know, relevant divisions and platoons have more fucking colours than Cobra. Look, look at this guy. What a fucking idiot they're saying. Clearly, there's an Indiana Jones, but well, there is an Indiana Jones, but also I would say there is a G.I. Joe vibe going on. Or action force, if you're English like me. Full force, and not you? So really, no power-ups? Wheelie, jump. Oh, if I press up and wheelie, oh, I've trapped them with my car ass. That's apparently a thing now, my car ass. This must be 1990, not the 1930s, I must have misread that. I would have said it in the 1930s. Oh, I don't know, someone answered the question for me, someone must know. I just had a quick look for anything I could find on it on Tinterwebs, but... Yeah, so basically my car is vehicular combat. Alright, that's friggin' epically cool. I'm not sure how he's managed to do that, but... Apparently now he controls space. Okay. Yes, I'm taking on a tank with a whip. That's how I roll. Okay. That's freaking epic. Can't seem to get my car out to do anything now. Oh. I guess we just carry on with the whip round. Whip it. Whip it good. Point to the quote. Oh, he's got help. Is that help at the bottom? Oh, well, that was... Okay. Indiana Jones for sure. This is amazing. If you played this back in the day, or even if you knew of it, oh, then let me know, because I did not. And I I feel like I've missed something. Alright, granted I'm filling in the gaps now, but that's not the point. I can get in all their cars, can I? It's very unique, is what I'm trying to say. Very unique. Ooh. It's a little bit weird on the controls as well, though, because when your whip goes, I'm off the screen. Um, and you flail around like a mad bastard. It's a little bit... Where will you end up? 
like that. But again, epic. It's like Uncharted in 2D in the 90s before Uncharted. That's the worst analogy ever, but you know what I mean. Nope. I do like when he has to peg it along the floor. This is insane. Not sure I like why it goes off the screen like that. That might be a main thing. It might not. It might be intended to do that. Or maybe I should just get a white stick. Some days in your life. Oh, where am I? I've completely lost me. Where am I? Oh, there I am. I've got no idea what I'm doing now. I'm just along for the ride. Seems to be fun. Especially that. Oh, should this... What? Really? I was just going to sit around. Wait for the noughties. Oh, fuck. It don't mess around, does it? Again, you've got to walk your way up. It... <clears throat> I don't know. Red Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai, Red Cobra. <laughs> Pin Why does he keep saying pinch? I'm not gonna do fuck all. I've just worked out where my life is. It's those hearts in the top left hand corner. Oh, oh. We're just trying to finish this bloke. Bloke, stage, thing, Kubicki, whatever. There is more than a pinch of Neo Geo about it, isn't there? Not necessarily a bad thing. That was out in 1990, wasn't it? It was released in 1990, I guess. Really, really need to upgrade your weapon, mate. Seriously. Although he's probably... Well, no, he can't just be an archaeologist with a name like Edward Randy. Let's give him Bond a run for his money. Maybe they didn't understand what the word Randy means. Oh, there you go. The cliffhanger. Edward Randy, released in 1990 by Data I did not know this was a thing. It's an absolutely overly, over the top, I should say, insane take on sprite scaling. And yeah, definitely, compared to what was also out at the time, really trying something a little bit different. As always, as I said, I would love to know what you think, especially if you played this back then. But yeah, I'm really quite taken with it. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.